Today I'm answering a selection of A-level chemistry stoichiometry questions. So question one, zinc forms many different salts including zinc sulfate, zinc chloride and zinc fluoride. People who have a zinc deficiency can take hydrated zinc sulfate as a dietary supplement. A student heated 4.3 grams of hydrated zinc sulfate and obtained 2.46 grams of anhydrous zinc sulfate. Use these data to calculate the value of the integer x in this show you're working and it's worth three marks. So I like using a table format where possible when doing the mole calculations. If you've been following me for a while, you'll be familiar with this. This is basically like an empirical formula calculation. So what you want to do is separate your hydrated zinc sulfate into the zinc sulfate portion and the water portion. Here's that table I was telling you about. And you want to have mass MR and number of moles as your row headings. Remember that mass is number of moles times MR. So what are our masses? Well, we know that 2.46 of anhydrous zinc sulfate was produced. Remember that zinc sulfate without water, which is why it's this value here. To work out the mass of water, therefore, we do 4.38 minus that 2.46 to get 1.92. Sorry, I forgot the O there of the H2O, but there it is now. Now the MR of the zinc sulfate. So using your periodic table, make sure you use the full mass. For simplicity, I'm just gonna use the rounded number, but remember you shouldn't do that in your exam. So zinc has a mass of 65, sulfur 32, oxygen 16, which I need to multiply by four because of this four here. So zinc sulfate's MR is 161. What about water? Well, we need to do two lots of hydrogen, so two times one plus 16 from oxygen to get 18. To find the number of moles, we do mass divided by MR. So that's 2.46 divided by 161 to get 0.01527. For water, we do 1.92 divided by 18 to get 0 0.106 recurring. Then because we need a ratio, we need one of those numbers to equal one. So we divide both by the smallest number. So look at those two numbers. 0 0.01527 is obviously the smallest number. So let's divide both sides by that number to get one to 6.9, which we can round to seven. So the ratio is one to seven, which means X equals seven. Zinc chloride can be prepared in the laboratory by the reaction between zinc oxide and hydrochloric acid. The equation for the reaction is a 0 0.0830 mole sample of pure zinc oxide was added to 100 centimeters cubed of 1.2 mole dm to the minus 3 hydrochloric acid. Calculate the maximum mass of anhydrous zinc chloride that could be obtained. So nice opportunity to use the table format again. I'm just going to rewrite that balance symbol equation here. This time our table looks like this. And we're going to use number of moles concentration and volume this time. So remember that number of moles is concentration times volume. We know that we've got the number of moles of zinc oxide is 0 0.083. And we know we had a volume of 100 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. So that's going to go here. Make sure you do the direct conversion here into decimeters cubed. And to do that, you need to divide by 1,000. I always do that in my working. The other thing we've been told is the concentration of hydrochloric acid, which is 1.2. So my next steps are to use this formula triangle to find out the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. So do 1.2 times 100 over 1,000 to get 0 0.12. Now we need to work out which of those reactants was in excess, this one or this one. So in order to do that, we've just calculated 0 0.12. I now want to work out what number of moles of zinc oxide I would need to react with all that hydrochloric acid. Because of this mole connection, which is one to two, I need to do 
number of moles of zinc oxide as being 0 0.12 divided by 2 to get 0 0.06. Now this 0 0.06 is lower than the number of moles of zinc oxide we were supplied with, which means that it has to be that the hydrochloric acid is the limiting factor. So I'm going to make that statement. And because of that, that's the number of moles we need to use in order to find the mass of zinc chloride. So what are our moles of zinc chloride? We'll check that mole connection again. It's 2 to 1. So that means this 0 0.06, because we've had to do 0 0.12 from here, divided by 2, means that our number of moles of zinc chloride is 0 0.06. And then that formula triangle we used before, which states that mass is number of moles times MR. Well, we're after the mass. So we do the number of moles we calculated times by the MR of zinc chloride. So that's 65 plus 35.5 times 2 to get 136, which gives us a value of 8.16 grams. Zinc chloride can also be prepared in the laboratory by the reaction between zinc and hydrogen chloride gas. An impure sample of zinc powder with a mass of 5.68 grams was reacted with hydrogen chloride gas until the reaction was complete. The zinc chloride produced had a mass of 10.7 grams. Calculate the percentage purity of the zinc metal and make sure you give your answers to three significant figures. So, similar sort of setup. Let's write out that equation again. Draw the table. So here's the setup to this question. Because we're after the percentage purity of the zinc metal, we effectively need to find out X and then compare it to the quantity of zinc powder that we been given in the question which is 5.68 but for the moment I'm going to call that value there x. Let's put in the rest of the information so we know the zinc chloride had a mass of 10.7 grams. So effectively we're going to work backwards to work out what mass of zinc produced that. So next up is to find the MR of zinc chloride which we had above so that was 65 plus 35.5 times 2 to get 136. According to this equation number of moles is mass divided by MR to get a number of moles of 0 0.07867. Check the mole connection here, it's one to one, so we can just steal those number of moles and copy them over to this side. The MR of zinc, well that's its mass from the periodic table, which is around 65. Use your periodic table, be nice and accurate here. So to work out that X value, we're gonna do 65 times the number of moles to get 5.1139. Keep that number in your calculator, don't round too early. So the percentage purity now of zinc, well we do our theoretical value here, divided by the value given to us in that question, and then it's a percentage, so we need to times by 100. And to three significant figures, that's 90.0%. Again, you'll probably get a value closer to 90.2% if you use the correct numbers from the periodic table for those masses. Now we're interested in atom economy. So an equation for the overall reaction in the Solvay process is this. Calculate the percentage atom economy of this reaction to produce sodium carbonate. Show you're working. So just to show you the equation here, atom economy is the useful products MR over the MR of reactants times by 100. So sodium carbonate is our useful product. So sodium is 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 3 lots of oxygen over the MR of all the reactants. Notice that I'm including those big numbers in my working. I know that the MR off the top of my head of calcium carbonate is 100. I've been doing this for too long. Then just pop that all into your calculator get a final answer of 48.8%. Ammonia is used to make nitric acid HNO3 by the Ostwald process. Three reactions occur in the process. In one production run, the gases formed in reaction one occupied a total volume of 4.31 meters cubed at 25 degrees Celsius, 100 kPa. Calculate the amount in moles of NO produced. Give your answer to three sig fig and there's our value for R, so hopefully this is screaming the ideal gas equation at you.
So our pressure, remember that needs to be in pascals, so we times that by a thousand automatically. Our volume is 4.31 meters cubed, that's fine. We're after the number of moles. R is 8.31 and our temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So add 25 degrees Celsius to 273 to get 298 Kelvin. Sort out your left hand side. Sort out your right hand side. And then divide both sides by 2476.38. And that comes out as being 174.044. Now be careful with the wording. It says that the gases formed in reaction one occupy the total volume of blah. Well, that includes both the NO and the water, and we're only interested in the NO. So as a proportion, if we look at the stoichiometry, we know we've got 10 here. So in order to work out what proportion of that is NO, we need to divide that answer by 10 and then multiply it by four because of this four here. And once you do that to three significant figures, our value is 69.6 moles so make sure you finish that question in another production round three kilos of ammonia gas were used in reaction one and all of the no gas produced were used to make no2 gas in reaction two calculate the amount of moles of ammonia in three kilograms so here's our mass and our number of moles number of moles is there for mass which is three kilos which is there for three thousand grams make sure you convert divided by the MR of ammonia, so that's NH3, so that's 176 moles, which are three significant figures.